Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing a challenge video with 164 Revival. This guy is good. This guy can bring it. So we're bringing out the big guns today. We got a uh, heavy Chevy Redline. Mm -mm. Delicious. We're going to customize this bad boy. Mainly because it had some really bad acid damage here and I lost one of the door lines. And the base is pretty corroded. So I'm okay with doing a custom on this guy if you are. So that's what we're going to do today. So she's already been kind of taken apart. Because I wasn't actually sure what I was going to do with it. But she's actually in really good shape. Considering. A little custom paint. You're not even going to notice that door line. It's fine. It's totally fine. So we're going to work on this bad boy today. And hopefully have ourselves a nice little challenge. If you know what I mean. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get this motor out of here. And to do that we got to drill out this little kind of star pattern we got going on. I'm going to put this bit on my Dremel and we're just going to buzz the top of that little mushroomy out of there. And once you buzz all that goodness off there it's one easy punch. Should knock it straight out of the body. Perfect. Oh, this car was originally orange. Okay, now I've seen this guy's work and he's good. He puts, um, <clears throat> he favors monoblocks so far on his customs. I don't have monoblocks, so I'm going to be using probably green lines. And if I got any shot at beating this guy, I got I to gotta bring my paint game. So that's my strongest suit. I got these green line torque thrusts. Which I might have to make a little clearance for. Love to just dump this Camaro a little bit. We'll see what happens. But for now i got to strip this little bit of paint. That we got in here. And we got to get this paint going. ASAP. Play on your strengths. Play on your strengths. Just going to put a little dabby in there. We'll let that bubble away. And the rest of our car is fine as it is. Okay, I'm going to go get this cleaned up with a wire brush, hot water, and we will come back and start thinking about paint. Before we get too carried away here, i got to flatten these posts so that I can re-punch them and re-drill them. So I think now that we got the post drilled on this, we can go ahead and prime this and start masking it out for paint. I'm just masking off our two-tone. Something like that. The trick to spraying two-tone is uh, when you're using your airbrush, you don't want to spray. You want to spray directly at the tape. So we're going to lock this in. We're going to go ahead and spray this candy. So I ended up picking a dirt track brown. I've never used this color. It's fresh. It's new. We're going to see what happens. It's definitely a nice deep, deep red. Should be a nice contrast with our silver.
Okay, that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull this, pull this tape off ASAP. ASAP. The longer you leave this tape on, the worse that tape line's gonna be. So keep that in mind. So that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and clear coat this once the uh, candy dries on top. And we should end up with a pretty sweet looking car. I would think that's a nice crispy paint line. Everything's going real good here, so we're going to let this dry for a little bit. I'm going to mix up some clear coat and we're going to go ahead and spray this. So our base is pretty corroded up from the acid damage that this guy suffered. So I got some lime out here and we're going to give this a good solid four minutes. As you can see it's starting to foam up already. That means it's working. <laughs> and we'll have a look at this here. We got our brass brush. It's looking pretty good. We might go a little bit longer. There's still some crusties here on our pipes. Go a little bit longer. And that is as good as this base is gonna get. Looks pretty great considering. And got rid of all that corrosion even though it did a little bit of damage to our base. That's still acceptable. Not much we can do with that. Alright, so here's our base. And we gotta fit these M2 axles on here. So that means we're gonna have to clear a little bit of real estate up in here. So to make this happen without absolutely ruining this base. I'm going to do the same thing I did on that other custom. Where I paint the axles with a liquid mask. This liquid mask is basically silicone. So we're just coating our axles so that nothing's going to stick to it. And then I'm going to drop them in here. And then we're going to pour epoxy over them to make a little tunnel. And then once everything dries, we're going to be able to pull our axles out. And then we will have a nice little tunnel for our axles to uh, run in. And then uh, this is basically what we have left instead of an axle tube. This is just two-part epoxy. And every time I use this, one side comes out stronger than the other. So let's see. Let's see if... Oh yeah, classic clear side, every time. There it goes, our yellow side never wants to come out. So once we got this stirred up, all we're going to do is cover in our axle. Just going to put this all in here nicely. Really trying to get some volume above the axle. That one looks real good. Get some more on this side. Actually, this side's looking real good already. I don't think I need to I really need to add much. So once this dries, I'm going to be able to pull these axles out because we put that liquid mask on there. The epoxy isn't sticking to the axles, and we're going to end up with a perfect little axle tunnel. Stick our wheels on, base is ready to rock. No problem, easy. Okay, epoxy's dry. We're gonna hopefully be able to get these out of here now. Axle one, axle two. You can see some of my liquid mask is still in there. This one too, I just want to push that mask out of there if I can. It's pretty gummy stuff, so might slow down your axle. If you're drag racing, you need all those advantages you can get.
Ever since I put that axle into my hand, squeezing one of these, I'm just, I'm scared now. There it goes. I was just scared. Axle's fine. Okay, now that that's done, all we have to do is pretty much install our motor. And this thing's a little bit crusty, so I'm going to polish it up a bit first here. And then we'll install that in the body, do an assembly. This windshield's really nice. I'm still going to dip it anyways. Just make it nicer. Always helps to pull off as much as you can from the, uh, the sides because it will dry as like a run. If you don't like leech off the the extra. All right, so this engine, this little engine here, we're gonna polish. Put some flits on it. All right, we're kind of just waiting on this glass now, and we can put this thing all together. Interior's clean. Just waiting on that glass to dry. Body's ready. Everything is ready. Isn't that something? Ooh-wee. Okay, so I do plan on gluing this motor down, but I did drill it so I can get a screw in there. But it's easier if you glue it down first because the motor's trying to turn as you're tightening the screw. And seeing that I just painted this last night, I'm trying to be super careful because if you uh, use too much force on your clear coat, really start manhandling it, you, you are going to leave little kind of fingerprints you're going to have to clean up. So I've had questions like, uh, why do you handle it so carefully? Is it wet? And I'm like, well, it's not wet, but it's... It's only been about eight hours or so since I painted this. Get some glue down. Hells yeah. This thing is cool, guys. Need a little screw. Okay. Now. Let's see how this is going to look. Front wheels are a little bit big. I'm going to get the base on anyways. I don't know if these big wheels are going to work out. I mean, they look amazing. But they're taking up a lot of room. You need a little bit smaller rubber on the front. Hmm. Hmm. So I had to switch to the Foose wheels. Just as nice. I mean, I really like these torque thrusts. But these have a little bit smaller front tire. And I need that if I want to, if I plan to do any blubbing. I gotta have that, so it's gonna do a couple details here. Just gotta get this grill back to looking black. If I can, this brush is a little bit big. Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah. Some nice bright red here for these tail lights. All right, we're done. I ain't messing around no more. I don't like handling the cars when the paint job's this fresh. I like to give them a good week because, like I said, 
if I took my thumb and I pushed right on top of this hood, you'd see kind of a, it wouldn't like indent, but it would definitely mess up the clear coat a little bit and I'd have to polish it out. So I'm very dainty with my fingers. This, I'm actually gonna change my gloves here. So there you go guys, that's my custom for this competition. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quite a journey making this car. I was up late, didn't get much sleep, but I think it turned out really good. Don't forget to check out 164 Revival's video. Leave some comments, say hello. He's totally new to this. He's got four videos, three videos. So go say hi. If anyone else wants kind of one of these shout out challenges, get a hold of me and we'll see what we can do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Check out the merch.